What's the most you've ever done in, in the hole in one stint? Probably about a year and a half. You get used to it. For someone like you, you'd probably go crazy. But, <laughs> but uh, for someone that, you know, like myself that already been through it, you know, you get used to it. Of course, it's, it's, you're away from everybody, man. And it takes a toll on you. I spend a lot of time in, in solitary, um, like I'll go in the, you know what I mean? Like, and not, not even, it, you don't have to be in the hole to be in. I fought a case in the Alley County Jail for five years and I was in a single cell. That's just as good as being in the hole. It's the same thing, you're in a single cell. So um, I can't explain it with words what, what you go through. There's a lot of mental stuff. Thank God I had my faith in, in, in Christ and, and I, I had a prayer life. But yeah, man, I think a lot of that has taken a toll on me now, man. I'm 42. I'll be 42 next month. And, uh, and so, yeah, I think a lot of that is catching up. When you were actually in the hole, did it, were you feeling any of the psychological impacts that the hole is supposedly designed to, to do on an inmate? Nah, because us, when I say us, I'm meaning the homies, Mexicans, um, we, we, you know, we stay in shape. We have, you know, mandatory, uh, routine, which is, we usually do some pretty heavy duty stuff, man. Some, something that if you try to do it right now, you, you probably wouldn't, I'm not saying you're out of shape, but even if you're in shape, you probably still, uh, you have a hard time completing the, the, the workout, man. So we would stay on our workout. Um, we would read books. We would, we would do everything that's necessary to, uh, you know, lessen the, the, the effects of, of that kind of living, man, solitary. That's why a lot, but the people that don't have that, those are the ones that are, they're going crazy. In there, they lose their mind. There's, there's people that I know that um, from one day to the next, they just start talking to themselves and that kind of stuff. I remember watching an interview with uh, Raul Leon from, from San Diego, an MA guy, and he was in the hole and he said, they haven't built a prison or a hole that can break me yet. And he I seemed remember. to be very proud that he can sit in the hole for 10 years. It didn't have an impact on him. But the reality is, it's going to have an impact at some point, right? You saw that interview? I saw what it. What did you think when you saw that? I mean, he's, he's right in one sense. Because I know what that is. Like, yeah. But he doesn't know how that's going to affect him in the future, man. I mean, that's what I think. I mean, not him personally, I'm saying, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it won't, you know, I, who am I to, to speak on that? I don't know. I don't know the man, you know, but um, I'm speaking in a general sense. You never know how that's going to affect you in the future, man. Yeah. Do you feel that that's the type of attitude you had too, that they can't, they can't yeah. build the... Yeah, I had that attitude, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, he's, he's right in a sense because you have that... Man, and it can, you know, you're, you're used to it, man. It becomes your life. Do you think that the COs that are in charge of making sure you guys are all going in the hole and, and in there, do, do you think they're, they're trying, they're a part of the process that they want to see you guys psychologically break down? They want to see this, this, this prison system within the prison system have a toll on you? They might. Some of them might. But for the most part, I don't think they have that mentality, like, I want to see this dude broken, you know? They're just, they're there with you, you know? You see them every day. So, uh, but yeah, there might be some that they maybe even get upset that you're even not broken, that you're still laughing, you know? You're still got your sense of humor and you can survive, you know? Take me through what, what a day like um, when you're in the hole. What, what's, what's it like? Uh, you just wake up, you know, wake up, uh, wash up, of course, you know, have a little quiet time, uh, work out. We usually work out early in the morning. Um, and then after our workout, you know, we do our little routine, our little bird bath, shower up, clean, clean the cell. And then that's it, man. Whatever you got going, you know, reading books playing chess with someone on the tier, chopping it up with 
with the homies or chopping up with the neighbor. Um, whatever it is that you do, that's really what it is. Like for me, I, I, I like reading. I, I, I like writing, so that's what I would do. I wrote, I read, and uh, try to use my time, you know, wisely. I didn't do that every single day, but, um, you know, I had my goals. I didn't want to just be wasting time, you know? So they let you, even though you're in the hole, you're allowed to communicate to other people that are in the hole too, and oh, different? Yeah, yeah the, the, the hole, you're looking at it, the, the term hole, in your mind, you're looking at it like you're in some dark dungeon. Like, that's not what the hole is. The hole is, you're just away, you're in a building away from the general population, and you have neighbors. And some doors, like say you're in a hole, like in Sentinella when I was in A5. That's not the hole, they have C, C6, which is different, but A5 was doors. The doors actually have holes in them. So, you can be right next door and it's almost like if I'm talking to you right now, like out in the open, you're just right next to each other and it just sells. But you can't see the person. You can't see them, Yeah. but you could see the next tier. Like if you're in C section, you could see B section and A section. You could see the COs walking to those. You see everything. You see the showers, you see every single thing. And did you miss general population anytime you was yeah, in the Yeah, of course. Hole? You want to be in the GP, man. You want to be getting contact visits. You want to be, you know, out there doing your thing, man. Working out, walking the yard. Uh, for some people, getting high, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's better than being restricted, man. Being in your cell 20, 23 hours a day. So you said uh, you would take a little bird bath after workout. They don't give you a full shower? Yeah, they give you showers, but you don't want to wait unless you showers are right after. If we work out and we kind of time it, some of us will wait for a shower. But usually you don't want to stay all musty. And the bird bath is just as good as a shower. It sounds like a bird bath, but it's not just, you're not just wiping yourself with a wet cloth. You're literally showering man you're pouring water on you you're scrubbing yourself you're pouring water on you rinsing out and you're literally taking a real shower and you're letting that water hit the floor Drip, you hit and the it, floor it's a drain you block it no there's no drain you block it with towels some place in some cases there might be a drain but in most cases you block the, the door you don't let it go out if it goes outside the door that's like a no-no <laughs> you know what i mean you're like a fish you're like you should know better you let it run in the cell, but you block it. You have like a little barrier and it stays within that little, you know, and then uh, you already have, if you've done it, you already know how to do it. And, and uh, you just pick up the water when you're done, throw it all back in the toilet, ring it all loud until you ring it all loud. And then you rinse the towels and then you clean the towels and then you clean the floor, shampoo the floor. So there's no, none of that dirty stuff is there. You, there's a, it's a process. It does. It sounds like it takes like an hour. To, yeah, it, it take a, I mean, I, 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 I've, I can take a bird bath in like, you know what I mean? Five minutes, boom, 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 boom. And then clean up 10 minutes real quick if I wanted to, you know? But yeah, it usually takes, you taking your time about 40, 45 minutes. Then you clean your sink. After you clean the floor, then you, you clean the sink. And, you know, we're, we're extra clean, man. Like homies, usually Mexicans, we're, you know, we like to keep our, our stuff on, on, you know, tight, looking, looking good, smelling good. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.